What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I figured I would do something a little bit different here on my channel. You guys, I recently did a thrifting Zara dupes video and you guys really liked that much more than I expected. Like I got a lot of feedback from you guys that you guys really enjoyed the dupes and that you thought I did a really good job, which thank you so much because those kind of videos definitely take a lot more work for me all around. Like when I'm shopping, doing my research, um, trying to put stuff together and then even in the editing, it just takes a lot more work. So I'm so glad that you guys ended up liking it. So today I figured I would do another dupes video and this one is for Target. I was shopping around in Target and I was just getting really inspired by all the cute fall decor. I'm sure you guys are feeling that too. I feel like everybody loves fall and fall decor. I don't normally seasonally decorate my house, but I feel like I may be starting to get into that just a little bit. I don't need to go all out in my home, but I feel like changing the seasons, kind of changing the decor. And you guys know I love thrifting, so I feel like that's an affordable way to do it as well. So I went to Target and I ended up getting some inspiration and then I ended up going to the thrift store and trying to thrift some dupes. So if you guys want to see what I ended up finding for my Target inspiration and dupes, let's just go ahead and head on over. All right, you guys, I'm outside of Target. I'm gonna be kind of discreet when filming, so I think I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this part because you're actually not allowed to film in Target. If they see you filming, um, they kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to me before and it was very embarrassing. I think you have to get like approval ahead of time So I'm just gonna try to be sneaky with my camera and we'll do a voiceover I'll show you all the brand new fun home Fall decor in here and then hopefully we will thrift it for less a little bit later in the week So let's head in and get some inspiration for our cute fall house stuff. Let's go Are you guys just heading into my local Target? and heading straight back to the home decor section, the like seasonal area. And the first thing I ended up spotting were these really great large sized wicker baskets and also that metal one. And then I think that one in the middle is for maybe like magazines or books. Then I headed over to this front display area that had a bunch of ceramic pumpkins, which were also very cute. This area had a ton of gold like pots and also gold table decor, almost like paperweights and knickknacks and then a lot of candle holders in all different shapes and sizes, kind of like those large ones that go outside near the front door. Also these ones for the tall skinny candles, I'm not remembering what they're called. And then I also noticed, of course, all of the garlands and beautiful front door decor, a lot of wreaths of all different like styles, lots of green ones, but then some fun fall colored ones, dried flowers. And I also noticed these really fun, cute boho, kind of like chunky, I think those are also garlands, but I'm not really sure how to style those beads. I feel like Target just always has a nice array of fake flowers and fake greenery. And then I also noticed all these beautiful muted colored pots and like neutral colored pots. Moving on to the back area, I really loved this gorgeous framed like tapestry carpet. I think that if you could find a cute carpet, you could do something really similar at the thrift store. And then I also have been really digging all of these like funky doodly type artwork. And I think it's also something that we could recreate. Moving over to the bedding, blankets, pillows, throws, all of that fun stuff. I noticed a lot of really chunky knits and tassels, almost the chunkier the knit, the better. And also like a lot of shearling. These were pillows that were like a little shearling and also a full on shearling blanket. That one was really fun and cozy, but pretty expensive. And I feel like we could find some neutral colored or like plaid colored blankets at the thrift. I also really liked these cable knit. It almost looked like it's a sweater on a pillow. And then of course like, pumpkin and more of like novelty print pillows. This one was a plaid colored rug and I really loved the neutral plaid. I thought that was cute for the front door, maybe like a black, our back sliding glass door. And then here were a few more that were in neutral colors, but kind of like plaid and just a little bit of a texture with tassels. 
Over here in the Chip and Joanna Gaines little area, I notice a lot of like black accents on neutral colored pieces and a lot of clay and also wood. There was these cute wood stools. I've thrifted things like that and put plants on them before. And then I also really love their dishware. It's like a clay look, but they're all imperfect. So they have kind of like a little bit of interesting edges on them and beautiful glazes, but they're not like crisp and clean. They're kind of imperfect. And I really like that. I also feel like that's something that you can definitely find while we're out shopping more affordably, but definitely getting so much inspiration from all the colors, shapes, and just different pieces over here. This is a cute little spoon holder. I love this chocolate brown coloring on those dishes. And I also found the other dishes that were black really interesting. Again, more greenery, just this is in the Chip and Joanna Gaines area. A lot of like neutral colored greenery and then a ton of candles. There was a lot of like really neutral and beautiful packaging on all of these candles. So I kind of noted that. And I also really liked these glass I don't know if those are like little vases or you could propagate plants in there, but I thought that that was interesting. I moved on over to the baskets aisle for storage and organization. And I just really love these big wire ones for maybe blankets and pillows. They just have such a great selection when coming here, but you can always find other baskets at the thrift. I loved this one and I was thinking it would be good for firewood because I don't like the look of firewood next to our stove. So maybe I could like hide the firewood in that giant basket, but hopefully we'll find something different at the thrift store. But this is just a beautiful and great way to organize things. Moving on to this Opal House uh, end cap, there was some really fun, colorful pillows. I don't know if these are for their fall collection, but I definitely think you can incorporate these colors for fall if you just mix it in with some other kind of like autumn colors. And then I went to the specific candle aisle. I noticed these giant candles um, and then just a lot of really beautiful like boho styled from the Opal House line. I love that line. So I was really enjoying it. They also have these um, kind of like more fall scented candles. I am a Bath and Body Works girl and I haven't tried these. So let me know down below if they're worth it. And then I also noticed these gigantic candles as well, like really interesting shapes and sizes. They have some cute little clocks. And then I headed on over to the little like poofs that you sit on. I love all of these. I would love to thrift one one day because I just can't justify splurging on them. But I especially love this like, I don't know what that material is called, rattan kind of uh, texture. And also these really cute, I don't know if they're stools or plant holders or what, but they're kind of like a funky boho style. So I loved those. I saw all these cute little berries and dried leaves that you can use as like candle decorations and then I headed over to the kitchenware. First off I noticed these adorable little pumpkin jars and also this big uh, gold acorn. I thought that that was beautiful for displaying maybe some decor and then some kind of like Thanksgiving plates and platters with like pumpkins on them. I also noticed a lot of gold again in like the silverware and like the just everything, everything to display in the kitchen. Lots of like gold accents and wood accents, which I really like. And I think it's just really beautiful and hopefully something that we can find. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely inspired. <laughs> And here was a little bit more of like the wood pieces that I was talking about. Bowls, big bowls, serving bowls, small bowls. I found some of these things in the thrift store before and I feel like you can find those. And it's really nice that they're really on trend right now and would be a great way to display some holiday stuff. There was these cute salad spoons. There's all sorts of charcuterie boards. And then I did notice this beautiful table runner. All right, guys, I just got out of Target, brush on my brain. I have about half an hour to go into this thrift store that I'm currently in front of and find some things. I'm sure I'll have to go into several thrift stores to look for different home decor for this, but I might not finish this today, but at least, you know, it's fresh in my mind. So let's go check out and see if I can find anything good in Bargain World. Here we go. I'm avoiding the clothes today and staying in the housewares, <laughs> which is hard for me. All right, this looks a lot like those plates that were in the 
Thanksgiving like houseware section that said like thankful or they had different like stamps on them and acorns. That definitely looks very Thanksgiving-y. You get four of them for $7. Three little ones and a big one. So maybe good for like serving Thanksgiving dinner. And then here is another little plate. This one's $4.99, perfect for serving turkey. I don't normally host Thanksgiving at my house, so I'm gonna leave this behind, but it looks really similar to that one in Target. Here is a bunch of greenery. And I know they had a lot of that in Target as far as like fake flowers and like even some of these little berries, not necessarily in that kind of look. These would be cute around maybe like a candle. There's two of them. Here is a lot of the like wood utensils too. There was so much wood and metal, like gold pieces mixed together. These little salad hands are 79 cents. Super cute. Ooh, I spotted something down here on the other side. Tell me that this does not look like it came from Target. That is so Target. Six dollars? I don't know what you'd use this for, if you could put like spices in it or... I don't know. It's kind of cute though. This really looks like all the hearth and hand stuff that they had, like the Joanna Gaines kind of style. So pretty, and this one's only three dollars. It's a good one. I also spotted these two kind of like pottery pieces, which are similar, but not exactly what I'm looking for. And then I also saw this silver one. I feel like most of the stuff I saw was more gold than silver. I mean, there were some silver pieces. I feel like my house is also more gold. Okay, down there I found these two cute little like door hangers. This one has a bunch of like little acorns on it. it. Has candy corn. Those are adorable and they're only three bucks. I don't see any plain pumpkins like the ones at Target. But these little ones with like little faces are pretty cute. And that little ghost is kind of cute. Oh, even this ghost with the cat back here. That's kind of cute too. Here is a cute little ghost. I think it goes on your door. It has this little door hanger at the top. I thought that was cute. Oh, you guys know how I feel about Kane. I love Kane so much. I don't love the dark cherry color on the edges, but I would paint it. I don't have any more room for a rocking chair. This little lawn art is pretty cute. It's only $3. Adorable. All right, you guys, there was a fan going on, so I figured I'd just do a little bit of a voiceover on this part since it was so loud. I did find this really beautiful lamp. It was gold and had this nice shade. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one from Target that I found right here. Like, don't they look identical? Um, that one was $12. I kind of regret not getting it, but this one also kind of looked like Target-esque. It almost looks like a little seashell on the bottom. I thought it was cute, fun, little like neutral texture. And I'm pretty sure I saw this exact same clock when I was in Target. I didn't film that part, but I found it there online. Um, but I don't need a new clock. And then I was looking for some little like kitchen table stuff, but didn't find much. Finding all that much in the linens area. There was a lot of plaid. This is plaid, but I'm not seeing much else really. All right, you guys, I am super late to pick up Everett. He's probably annoyed at me, so I gotta get in line. I wish I could spend more time here because there's lots of good stuff, but I gotta go. All right, guys, I got some fun stuff. I spent $21 at this store, but a few of the items I got were clothes, like one or two. I saw some really cute vests and I couldn't say no. So I really only spent about like $11 probably on the home decor. I'll show you guys later for the haul. Hello my friends. It's day two of trying to find some dupes for the Target home decor fall stuff. <laughs> um, Everett's taking me to Goodwill. <laughs> I'm excited. 
uh, yeah, let's find some good things today, hopefully. I started setting up my house a little bit for like kind of empty places that I need to put some decor. So I kind of already have an idea of like the sizes of things I want. And I also made a huge long list of all the stuff at Target that I saw to remind me so I don't get uh, distracted with other things. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go to Goodwill. Oh, this was kind of similar to some of the vases that they had in the beginning, like the darker colored vases. Very pretty. I don't need it though. This one's actually kind of cool too. This blanket actually really reminds me a lot of like the boho, like chunky knit blankets. This one's pretty little. So I'm not gonna get it, but I feel like it kind of looks like those chunky knit blankets that were at Target. And it's in like the neutral color, you know? There's like a little magazine rack, kind of similar to the ones there. I don't need a magazine rack, but I feel like that kind of fits the style. $6.50. Sorry you guys, the music's really loud in here today. But I really like this frame and it's only $3. And I remember seeing that like squiggly art painting. I don't like these paintings, so I'd take it out and probably just do my own little squiggly art painting in that. But for $3.50, I feel like it's worth trying the DIY. This is kind of cool and reminds me of a lot of the like decor stuff that we saw, except for it does have flowers on it. So I don't know if it's very fall. Is that more like spring and summery than fall? kind of cool. It's from World Market. This kind of looked like the Joanna Gaines stuff. Could be good for like displaying cute little acorns or you know some fall decor. All right guys we did it. Everyone's getting antsy we had to go but I found a few cute things that I feel like fit the what am I trying to say fit for the video. I'll show you guys later. All right guys, we are obviously back from the thrift store. I went those two days and I found a lot of really good stuff. There were a lot of things that I kept finding that were very similar and there was some of the stuff on my list that I just like couldn't find, which, you know, that's how thrifting goes. So I figured I'd just show you guys everything that I ended up getting. So from the first day when I went to Thrifty Bargain, I ended up showing you guys these cute little door hangers. I got two of them because I feel like one of them is more Halloween-y and then one of them is more like Thanksgiving and fall. And they were only $3, $2.99. So I currently have the Halloween one hanging up on my door right now and I'll show you guys that. But then I also got this one right here which just has like all this like straw raffia stuff and then it does have the cute little like leaves and acorns. Adorable, I just think it's really fun. I usually have a wreath on my front door but I figured I would get something a little bit different so I got these guys for such an affordable price. I wouldn't say I saw anything like this at Target that was like exactly the same but there was a lot of like fall wreaths, lots of Halloween ones, fall ones, um, just really pretty like colorful fall uh, Reese, let's show you guys the one on my door. All right, guys, here is the little cute Halloween hanger. It's adorable. I love those little candy corns. And yeah, when I come home, it just makes me happy to see. Also really excited to find this little guy because you guys know I love pottery. And to me, this looked exactly like all of the stuff from Chip and Joanna Gaines line that's at Target called Hearth and Hand. They do a lot of like really fun farm style, beautiful stuff. I honestly love that entire section at Target. And right now when I was in store, I saw a lot of that kind of like imperfect clay pottery as far as like all the kitchen decor and also a lot of just like cute vases and pots and things like that. And I noticed that a lot of them were in very neutral tones. Honestly, sometimes I just like to display these up on a shelf by themselves with nothing in them. So I just thought it was a beautiful alternative and it was only three dollars all right and then this is the last thing i got that day and it is just this like creamy white little knit blanket i like a very neutral colored blanket 
they had all sorts of things at Target. They had like plaids, they had like bright ones, they had like very fall colors, kind of like those like deep mustard yellows and like rust oranges. But then I also noticed a ton of just like the neutral, warm, cozy blankets, and that's kind of what fits my couch and decor and even bedding the best. So that's what I really wanted to find. And this one was perfect and such an affordable price. This one was $4. From the second day when I went to Goodwill, I did find a few cute little things. I'll go over this one first. I showed you guys this frame, but I didn't like the little like angels that were inside. And I knew I wanted to do that like fun squiggly art project. I am no artiste. And so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I did have some like little watercolors. So honestly, I just flipped the entire painting over or like the picture over and used the same paper that was in there. See? <laughs> And then I just painted some fun little squigglies from my art set. It was really fun. And this was only like $3 or something, $4. I thought that it would look nice just right back here. And just so you guys know, if you guys are wondering, I got all these other little pieces at the dollar store. Other than this pumpkin, ever grew this pumpkin himself. <laughs> I bought these pumpkins though. I wanted to show you guys one that I've previously done like this one. When I was on the Target website, I ended up seeing this art piece and I knew I'd already remade that myself for $5. So over here is the one that I actually created. Here's the little painting right here. It's kind of like in our entryway. And yeah, it was super simple to make the frame and everything was only $5. I think I actually did use a $1 poster from the dollar store and then you just paint little black lines and you wanna make them imperfect because that's kind of like the style. So this was a five, six dollar piece of art that recreated that other one from Target that was, I forget how much, but it was more one expensive. One day it will sell for five to six dollars. That's how much it costs. I kind of like that I did it instead of just buying it a print from Target. Like it's an original one of a kind. <laughs> I found a ton of pottery. Like that was definitely the one that I think was the easiest to find. Like the mugs and the pottery because so many people end up making these and I always find them at the thrift store. So this is another cute little guy that I thought really fit that like Joanna Gaines kind of like fall pieces. It would look really cute with just one little flower coming out if you wanted to dis display it that way or if you wanted to put it on a shelf and just kind of like, again, put some little sprigs of something in there. Even sometimes you guys, I go on a walk and I see little pieces of like, weeds and they're cute. I knew that they would dry well so I like pick them and then I bring them home and I display them <laughs> in pieces like this. I was definitely on the hunt for all the gold stuff that I had mentioned. This was the only thing that came close and it's not gold exactly. It's more of like a deeper bronze brown but I just thought that it was so beautiful. Again, another piece of pottery. Wow, someone did actually like hand make this and like look at the detail on this you guys. Like someone is very talented to make all of these little cool grooves and like holes and rivets. I just thought that this was kind of like on theme with the gold stuff that we were seeing everywhere. And oh, it was $4.50. I'm really sure what this is meant to be used for, but I feel like it gave the same vibes as a lot of the stuff at Target. Um, it is made of like solid stone. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is and I'm not sure what it is. Like, is this a candle holder? Um, do you put like your cooking spoons in this? Is it a vase? I'm not really sure. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use it. I think I would probably use it as a vase, but I just thought that the natural stone is like so beautiful. It looks like those pieces that would be like bookends, you know? And it was only $4.50. So yeah, I thought that that was cool. Let me know what you think I should use this for. Like, I think, is it a candle holder? Oh my gosh, I just realized I forgot one of the pieces because I've been using it on my um, dinner table. Hold on. You guys, I forgot. <laughs> because I've been using these actually. Um, I found these two things as well. I found this beautiful uh, vase right here. Beautiful, it has all of these like gorgeous bronze little flowers with like this turquoise detailing. And I just put a little bit of like these little, what are these called? These things, I got them at Trader Joe's. <laughs> um, 
I put them in there and this was two dollars and twenty five cents so cute and it matches my other um, little table decor on my dinner on my dining room table and I forgot you guys I also got these I love them they're beautiful I think I got them for like two dollars they were two dollars each and they are these tall votive candles this definitely looks like something that was in Target look at those I can't believe I almost forgot these <laughs> um, yeah really pretty just put a little tea light in them it was a success overall, very difficult. Let me know if you guys want me to continue doing these videos. Some of you guys did suggest other clothing brands to do for dupes, like Urban Outfitters. That would be a really fun one. Um, I've also thought about maybe doing like an anthropology. Uh, let me know what you guys want, or if you guys liked this like home decor kind. That was kind of different for me and very fun. Also, you guys, let me know if you guys end up doing the same process. Like, go to the store, whatever store it is, Pier 1, Cost Plus World Market, whatever store that you like, walk through and just browse and note and see what's there. And then directly after that, go straight to the thrift store because it's like fresh on your mind and see what you end up finding because I feel like... There's a lot of really cool things that you end up finding. All right, you guys, that is actually everything. I hope you guys ended up enjoying this video. If you watched all the way to the end, I want you to comment down below your favorite ice cream flavor. I have been really enjoying pistachio ice cream lately. I don't know what it is, but yeah, pistachio ice cream. I got some recently in the like little enlightened things and it's been so good, but I wanna know your favorite ice cream flavor if you like ice cream. And if you don't have a favorite ice cream flavor, just say, down below that you don't eat ice cream and give me an alternative of a favorite dessert you like. All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.